Hello, welcome back to Space Engineers. In today's video, we'll look at another very useful mod for the brand new food system, where this one is simply called the Planting Automation Mod, which doesn't add anything to the world per se, it just alters how the farm block works, it alters how the connectors work, in order to make an automated setup where you can simply just drop down the seed on top of a plant block, then it'll automatically plant itself, and then we'll just grow, you can harvest it, then hit a button to redo it. For a quick demonstration, what I've got over here, is a farming plot, got a button in front of it, up and above there is a connector with some seeds inside it ready to be dropped down, so there they are right there, some vegetable seeds, and all I've got to do is come over to this button, hit it, it'll drop down, after a short delay, but then automatically plant itself, and I'll just go through the growing cycle and all of that. Now I'm just going to harvest this, get rid of it, and we'll just go and talk through how this works. So once you've added this mod in through the mod menu, what's going to happen is your Farm plots and the connectors are both going to be updated with different functions. The connectors first of all up to here are going to have a unique function, where if we come all the way down to the bottom, it's going to have a singular drop item. This will only drop one single item inside the connector, meaning if you put all the seeds inside it like I have right now, I've got 76,000 seeds inside here, it's only going to drop one of these all the way down to the bottom. There we are. Then of course down to here, the second set is the farm plot itself, where it looks like it's basically just taking the seed and planting it automatically, but it's actually doing something very clever and very complicated. So once again, just gonna come into here and get rid of that. There we go, and now I'm gonna walk you through it. So what's actually happening with this thing is, when a seed is near it or on top of it, what's gonna happen is it's gonna be teleported to your inventory that the game is gonna think that you're actually coming up to the planter and actually hitting plant with the seeds selected in the inventory. And there comes a wolf, just to go and ruin the video, so do excuse me, while well, I just go and grind him up. There we go, he's now going to run away into the distance. But yes, as I was saying, the seed's going to drop down, it's going to vanish, it's going to pop into your engineer's inventory, the game is going to think that you clicked on this, hit the seed, and hit plant, and it's going to take it out of your inventory, and just plant it automatically. But the way it happens in the game, with the way you actually visually see it, is simply the seed's going to drop down on top of it, and automatically plant. So into here, it's going to drop down, and it'll automatically plant, you won't actually be able to see it in the inventory, it will not appear inside here, but that's the way they got around it in the background. Of course this can be all scaled up, you can have as many connectors up here dropping stuff out if you want to do that. Of course you would need to set it up so they only pull out a certain amount per connectors, otherwise it might all go into one and it only drop down into one farm plot instead of your massive array or whatever you set up. I'll go for that in just a moment. But going back to what I was saying about the seed actually going into your inventory and the game thinking you're actually planting it, is it won't actually do it automatically if you're not near the planting thing. It does have a 3 kilometer range, or it's going to choose any character within 3 kilometers of the planter to actually use as the victim if you want to, to actually plant stuff in the planter, but if there is no characters within 3 kilometers of this, there's no characters where the seed is on top of it, there we are, it will just simply stay there and nothing will happen. The seeds on top of the planter will probably despawn or just remain there until of course you come within 3 kilometers, then it will automatically plant itself through the mod system. I'm going to go clean that up, there we go. But now what I'm going to do is just quickly show you how to set this up yourself, so I'm going to come over to tab number 3 where I had to up for this platform, and I'm then going to pop down a new farm plot. So over here I'm going to put down, it's the wrong one, there we go, I'm going to put it right next to it. In fact I'm going to move it across by one, just so it is slightly separate. Coming up to here, and I'm going to just link this all the way across, I'm going to put a block in front of it, put down a connector, so I'm going to make sure it's facing the right way, there it is. Now I'm simply going to connect it across, so I can actually use the inventory system that I've set up over there. And now this should hopefully have pulled out from the cargo container a bunch of seeds, and no it did not, so I'm just going to pop that inside like so. But yes, over and around here I've got a hydration system, there's the cargo container for the seats inside, all I've got to do now is come down to this connector, and make it collect all, it should now disappear, and that's all inside both these connectors up there. And now with that, we'll come into here, find both the connectors, there we are, I'm going to turn it into a group, just going to label it as number one, then you come across my handy little button that I set up earlier, get rid of the plants inside here, just to make it a bit easier for the demonstration, into this, find the group, drag it all the way down, all the way at the bottom, and then I'm going to have drop item. And now, setting myself like so, hide all that, press the button, and they both drop down, and they both automatically plant. Of course, this one's not going to be able to do too much, because it's not connected under the platform to the hydration system. But this one will grow perfectly fine. That's how you set it up automatically, well, automatically grow plants. Now, of course, there are other mods on the workshop page that do have a different type of automation system. This one's more true to the vanilla planting system, where you actively have to be nearby, you have to actively plant the seed, and of course harvest it and redo it, prior to being completely automated, like some of the other mods have gone for. 
Yes, that's all you do, and that's all this mod does, which is a fantastic thing to have in your world if you want to have an automatic planting system. It just saves you from having to have disease in your inventory, having to harvest and replant them manually. So you simply do what I've done here, set it all up on one button, so you see me press it, the seeds drop, and it'll just automatically plant on your massive farming array. Yes, that's pretty much it for this video. If you're into it, because you blow to the planet yourself, I highly recommend you do. I'll be back with another video somewhere soon. Bye bye.